Hello, I'm Paul Wainwright. I'm a large format black and white photographer from Atkinson, New Hampshire. From 2004 through 2008, I did a project to photograph the surviving colonial meeting houses in all six New England states. The work started out as an artistic project. Uh, I just thought these buildings were drop-dead gorgeous to, to photograph. But as I read more about where they were, I also started to read about their history. And I realized that uh, they contain a fascinating history of uh, colonial American uh, history that I was unaware of. And so through my photographs, I thought perhaps I could bring this story to a larger audience. Three things came of uh, the project. The first was my book, uh, A Space for Faith, The Colonial Meeting Houses of New England. Uh, it's done very well. Uh, it will probably be um, out of print within the next year. Um, the second thing that came of the project was an illustrated uh, lecture that I have put together uh, about New England's colonial meeting houses. And I'm very proud that this talk has been sponsored by both the New Hampshire and the Vermont Humanities Councils. So there's some funding available for libraries and historical associations uh, to have me come and, and give this presentation. The third thing that came of the work was a uh, traveling exhibition of uh, prints that I put together that has uh, shown twice. Uh, once was in uh, Turner's Falls, Massachusetts at the Hallmark Institute of Photography, and the other venue was in Murfreesboro, Tennessee at the uh, Middle Tennessee State University where they still have a very active and vibrant darkroom-based um, photography program and a nice exhibition space. However, for the last several years, um, the work has not traveled, and quite frankly, I lack the skills and ambition to do a whole lot of promotion uh, of it. And since um, I've moved on artistically to other things, what I'd like to do at this time is donate the work uh, to an institution that uh, not only would value and care for it, but also potentially um, have the ability to share the work with the public. Uh, for example, through um, researchers who are doing research, making it available to them, or perhaps uh, making it available on loan, either in whole or in part, to other institutions that might want to show the work. So let me tell you a little bit about what is in uh, the exhibition, what it consists of. Uh, there are a total of 72 photographs, mostly from the book, although there's some in the book that are not part of the show and vice versa. Uh, I have one of them here. Uh, these are selenium-toned uh, silver gelatin prints. Uh, the image area uh, of each uh, photograph is uh, exactly 10 by 12 and a half inches. Uh, they are printed on 11 by 14 inch paper. So uh, some of the image, uh, some of the, the photograph is not really part of the exhibitable image and is outside the uh, uh, overmat uh, opening. The uh, Photographs are uh, dry-mounted to four-ply museum board that I'll say a few more words about in a few minutes uh, using Bifang buffer mount, which at least in theory uh, can be removed by applying mild heat. Uh, on the back of each um, mat board is the uh, information about the print, uh, museum tag kind of information, the title and the year the building was built and the location of the building. Um, as I said, the prints are dry-mounted to four-ply museum board, uh, and the overmat is also four-ply, and it's hinged to the backing board to form one unit. Uh, these prints uh, are stored in four uh, archival boxes, similar to this one behind me, and uh, they are protected using two sheets of uh, acid-free paper, uh, one which goes against the print, to uh, preserve the print, and the other one goes uh, on top of the mat board to uh, keep the mat board clean. So, uh, as part of the exhibit, uh, there is also a complete set of gallery tags. Uh, these would be uh, used in a gallery situation to place next to the image. Uh, there's also a complete set of uh, the gallery tag information plus a thumbnail which is uh, very useful to curators in two respects. 
Uh, first of all, in selecting an exhibit, you don't have to go through all of the boxes to uh, uh, make your selections. You can just shuffle these cards out on a table and uh, select uh, the images and where perhaps to put them uh, just using the cards. The other very useful thing is once the image is hung, of course, you can't see the information on the back of the uh, mat board, but having a reference like this that includes the image and also the gallery tag information, uh, you can then get the gallery tags placed with the uh, correct images. So what I'm going to be sending uh, is a package of information that includes uh, the set of gallery tags, a complete set of the thumbnails, uh, and also uh, in the package will be a CD. Uh, on the CD will be the files that the gallery tags and thumbnails were made from. Um, this video that you're now watching will also be on the CD. And uh, several other things will be in there as well. Uh, there'll be a spreadsheet which will be a complete inventory of the show and it's structured by, by box so if you're looking for a particular image you don't have to look through all four boxes. Uh, to find it. Um, on the CD will also be a couple of background videos, one of which was uh, the WMUR um, New Hampshire Chronicle television show that was done uh, of me and, and uh, uh, talking about the project. That's about seven minutes long. Uh, also there is a um, video that was done by Peter Hoving. Uh, Peter is a WGBH videographer uh, who was doing a photographic or a video essay uh, about meeting houses and uh, basically wound up doing a, 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 an essay of me talking about meeting houses and it's about 12 minutes long so those those two are kind of background information. Uh, in the package uh, that I'll be sending uh, will also be a, a sample of the mat board that I use. Uh, it's Rising Museum Board Warm White 100% rag, acid free and buffered. Uh, the reason for this particular shade of uh, mat board it's almost, almost white. And the reason to be slightly off-white is when an image is exhibited in the map board, I want the whites of the image to be slightly brighter than the whites of the map board. It's a very subliminal perception thing, and unless I pointed it out to someone, they'd probably not notice it. Uh, also in the package I'm sending will be a sample of the uh, paper, the archival paper that's used to protect the uh, print and the mat. It's from Archival Methods. It's their all-purpose archival paper, acid and lignin free. Uh, also on the CD will be uh, my bio and my artist statement. And the printout of those will also be included in the do donation. Uh, my biography and artist statement are on the wall uh, in back of me. Uh, so that's basically what I'm uh, proposing. Um, thank you for your time in considering my proposal, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.